So for some time now I've been looking for a higher power motor controller to fit into the bike. Um, the bike has been fantastic. I mean the controller is 72 volts, 450 amps so it, it has quite a bit of power and uh, it's, it's been really reliable and it's just been a great bike. Um, but I've, I've always wanted more power in the bike so um, I've been doing some research uh, looking around for higher power motor controllers and I really haven't been able to find anything that's this quite the size I'm looking for and you know both mechanical size and electrical size haven't been able to find that so I figured ah to hell with it I'm just gonna build my own controller so uh, that's what I started doing uh, last week um, started building my own motor controller so I think I'll take you through the steps I've gone through here and we'll look at some of the circuits uh, involved and uh, do some uh, engineering and hopefully we'll start all the way down at the simplest stuff and work our way up to the more complicated stuff and I'm hoping that I'll be able to uh, bring everyone's level of understanding of how this stuff works up and uh, yeah get to see how to build a motor controller in the process so uh, yeah let's go this is uh, video number one I don't know how many there's gonna be um, probably ten or so I'd imagine at least because uh, it's gonna involve the design the schematic uh, the PCB layout, there's going to be PCBs involved and uh, of course the build of it and then uh, there's going to be a lot of testing a ton of testing and then finally once uh, all the testing is complete and it's proven reliable then I'm actually going to be installing the bike and that's going to be crazy fun so, so let's just go over the requirements first so the Altrex controller can do 450 amps on the battery side or the motor side, and that's that's the limit. Um, what I want to do here is I want to build a controller that can do at least 650 amps on the motor side, and I probably want to keep the battery side to around 500 amps. Uh, the batteries aren't stressed at all right now. Uh, when I'm when I'm going down the highway and I'm pulling some uh, uh, pretty serious uh, acceleration um, the most current I've ever seen pulled from the battery pack is probably around 380 amps it, it really never gets any higher than that of course because the motor side is limited, limited to that 450 amps so um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to increase the motor amps up to at least 650 and I think that'll be awesome because that'll be essentially 50% more torque than the bike has now and um, I want to keep the battery side about the same so the batteries won't be any more stressed uh, than they are already um, of course at, at high speed it'll be about the same on the batteries uh, but at low speed of course we're going to be pulling a lot more battery current because the motor current is going to be a lot higher So. Yeah, that's that's my initial design requirements. I want it to be roughly the same size as the Altrex controller right now, um, but I want it to be able to do 650 amps on the motor side, and and of course I want it to be really efficient so it doesn't waste uh, much power, and uh, of course I want it to be uh, reasonably inexpensive. Uh, if if I did find an off-the-shelf controller that did what I wanted. Um, and it was around a thousand bucks or so uh, I might pull the trigger on it but like I said I haven't been able to find anything so I'd, I'd much rather just buy something off the shelf but um, I haven't been able to find anything so it's definitely we're gonna have to go the custom route here um, and of course one of the biggest problems is space constraints once again I, I need the controller to be roughly the same size or I physically cannot fit it into the bike so that's one of the reasons why I'm gonna have to design my own what else? Oh, another thing I do want to play around with, uh, it's not really a design requirement, um, but it's a really nice to have, is I want to have torque control throttle. So right now, the Altrax controller, it's a speed controller. So half throttle gives you half speed, full throttle gives you full speed. Well, 
it's pretty awkward at times because let's say I'm coming down a big hill and the bike is picking up speed uh, not not for me giving the bike power but just from going down the hill well once I reach the bottom of the hill and I want to either maintain my speed or or accelerate away I have to turn the throttle and, until it meets up with the speed I'm doing in order to get any power right uh, I either you know if, the th if I let go of the throttle and let it snap back to zero and then you know as soon as I pull the throttle again I'll, I'll have nothing for quite a while until that until the throttle position meet, matches up with the speed I'm doing then I'll get power so it, it's really awkward when I'm trying to drive fairly aggressively it, it's just it's it's not very smooth so what I'd like to do is I'd like to have torque control so when I do half throttle that's half motor current when I do full throttle that's full motor current so it's motor current is proportional to torque so regardless of what speed I'm doing the throttle position will be more natural it will be more like a gas bike in that it, it controls how much torque gets uh, uh, is delivered from the motor to the rear wheel instead of instead of speed it'll, it'll be more power and torque um, because the thing with the speed controller is you don't have direct control over the power it's delivering. Um, only, only as a side effect is it controlling power. Its main job is to control speed. So that's what I'd like. I like. I would like to have torque control. Uh, it would, it would give me a heck of a lot more ability to control what I'm doing. And I don't know if the bike will have the ability to pull wheelies after this or not, 650 amps, 50% more torque. Um, I don't know if it'll have enough power still to do wheelies. I bet you it'll come pretty close though. So having that torque control would be really nice so that uh, it's, it's more controllable because we're getting to power levels now that are uh, pretty insane. So <laughs> it'll, be, uh, it'll be a ton of fun. Anyway, that's uh, video number one. Uh, video number two will come soon, and in video number two we'll be talking about the uh, schematics and actual design of it, of, of the controller, and uh, there's a lot of considerations, things to take into consideration, so we'll be going over everything and kind of my thought process uh, on those things. So, until next time, I'll see ya.